how you doing guys? Zed Head here. Yeah, just taking a few photographs at this lovely little mural. Just hope you can see it in the background. Get you there with the with the bike. It's quite smart isn't it? So yeah, I'm gonna take off and we'll have a natter. Aye, quite nifty that. So how you all doing? Welcome back, Zed Head here. Welcome back to the channel if you've came back, if you're new or whatever they are. Who knows? I don't know. I don't even know what I am. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure a few people could tell me. <laughs> but yeah, welcome back to the channel. If you've came back. It's an absolutely cracking day. I was just uh, in Glasgow seeing my little brother. Just decided to pop in and see what he was up to. It's always nice to connect, isn't it? He made me a cracking coffee and I had a a carnetto with a flake in it. It's cool. We had a wee natter as well. And I went down to the arches down just at the bottom of his street where uh, the photograph that's up on Instagram just now was taken of my bike. So yeah, he lives in a, a nice wee area. Quite uh, cosmopolitan, I would, I would say. So yeah, it's a cracking day. I'm just gonna, gonna head for a little run. See where we end up with. Oh, it's that hot. I'm sweating like a seventies top of the pops presenter. Once the air passes through my leathers and whatever, it, everything seems a lot cooler. <laughs> so how are you all doing? What have you been up to? Have you missed me? <laughs> Did you even know I was gone? <laughs> yeah, so it's a nice day. Um, Got a bit of a free pass uh, for a, a few hours, so got to make the most of that. Wife's off on holiday this weekend, so I'm out, out on the bike. We're on the road again. Then you'll be mightily impressed. You'll be like, my God, that the Z head is just phenomenal. Funny nominal. And it wouldn't even be better if he took us into a tunnel to test that out. The engine noise. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's quite delightful, isn't it? it? Sounds amazing. 
Yeah, so hopefully you're getting that loud and clear. Sure you are. Ladies and gentlemen that are not familiar with the area that I'm riding in just now, that is the Clyde Tunnel, which runs under the River Clyde. So we are back on the Govan side. So you have the Kelvin the Kelvin, what am I talking about? The Kingston Bridge, but you also have the Clyde Tunnel, so there's uh, a couple of a couple of ways of getting on to a couple of ways of getting uh, from one side of the town onto the other. I don't know if anyone will actually be in this wee bit I'm going to take you to. I'm not sure. We'll see in a minute, I suppose. Get up to this next roundabout and then uh, take you in. And I'll tell you the significance of the, the place that we're, we're actually standing. Isn't that a lovely Art Deco building? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's lovely. It lay derelict for quite a, a number of years before it got turned into residential property. So. I always like it when uh, property developers see the value and the beauty of a place. I caught you looking. <laughs> I can tell I'm in the right area because I can smell it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm going to take you. Oh, a little ship, look at that. So I'm going to take you to this place. And then I'm going to tell you the, the significance of it. Wondering if uh, there's any anyone out on it just now. Possibly not due to COVID. Oh, there is. There is. There's people out on it. People out on it. So, yeah. What you see in front of uh, you is the Shield Hall Motorbike Test Centre. That's where I passed my test. And that was in 2009. And as you can see just now, there's somebody through the trees there. I'm not going to uh, stay for long. So I don't want to, to put them off any. But that's them doing the U-turn. Well done. And stop. Well done, that's a pass. So yeah, aye, that's... Uh, the test uh, facility that I passed my test all those years ago, 11, 11 years ago, my goodness, oh, 11 wobbly years ago. But what I had never understood was the fact that 
they built that test centre right next to this place, which has lorries getting in and out constantly. On you go. You're welcome. Yeah, so basically the lorries come out and if you're on your test and it's raining, this is absolutely like glass because of the amount of diesel and all sorts of these lorries drop onto the road. So I always found it crazy. But when you start getting close to your test, my examiner took us on this road at 40 miles an hour and there are drains, see them, placed and this is what they encourage you to do, hazard avoidance like the swerve test so basically this is what they did he would say that they, these drains are on the road and they're spaced as such that you can swerve around them so that's what we did on the way back from having a wee gander about the test centre pretty cool eh? <laughs> That was just a, a little bit of uh, nostalgia there. But it'll be, uh, it'll be tear to my eye, actually. But a bit emotional about it, actually. <laughs> oh dear. A lot of memories, a lot of memories uh, gone by now. A lot of uh, experience, good and bad. With regards to the bike. or my biking history as it were so yeah that's, uh, that's me for today guys alright guys this is Zed Head signing off take care stay safe peace out bye bye <laughs>